Good morning, neighbors. Do you know what I love about new accounts? You get to make a lot of new friends. That's right, the algorithm doesn't know what to do with you, so you come across a lot of new faces. And with new faces come new questions. Today's question comes all the way from Rhode Island. Dear Mr. Norseman, what are your thoughts on honor and integrity? I don't see a lot of it in the world today, and I'm having trouble explaining it to my son, JJ. And maybe if he learns, we can get the ball rolling again. Firstly, hello, JJ. I hope you have a great day, little one. To me, honor and integrity are how you act and how much you're trusted. I always tell my kids, I trust you until I don't. For example, my youngest hadn't been changing his socks. I had trusted he would do this. He stinkily did not. When confronted about it, he lied, and the stink told the truth. By lying, he lost integrity with me. And by going to school with feet that smell like blue cheese, well, it dishonors me. If I were to ask him to clean his room, and he came and told me he was finished, do you think I should believe him? It's very hard to build trust back. If his older brother wanted to trade games and they did a handshake agreement, do you think he's going to trust his brother after this? A lack of honor and integrity will always pause a handshake. Without trust, you're alone. In fact, this was very important to the ancestors. And they said, ill is it to abandon honor and integrity in exchange for injustice and greed. That's from Bandamana Saga, in case you want to read along with your mom or dad. In a nutshell, little one, it basically means do not give up your honor and integrity in exchange for temptation. So next time when you clean your room and you go tell your daddy or mommy that you're all finished, maybe double check and see if you rush through it. Honor and integrity is a very important commodity between two people. Sometimes when I see people with a hammer around their neck, I take this for granted and immediately trust them. Probably a little too much. Think of it like a bridge. If you lose honor and integrity, you damage the bridge. The good news is it can be repaired. This can be done through the accountability of your actions or words. I trust you ate your vegetables and did your homework? That's a tough one, huh? But your honor and integrity will affect everything in your life. And for those of us that have lost these things, maybe fix it. Because if you don't, people will treat you differently, huh? You know, recently, Mr. Norseman gave his word he would do something to help kids get toys this Yule. I gave my word I would tow my truck 2.3 miles. It's going to be tough, and I might fail, but I am going to try because I gave my word. This is important to me. For some folks, words to themselves are not. Sometimes it's hard to trust ourselves, huh? Like sneaking cookies from the cookie jar. But I have to do this task, where I lose honor and integrity with myself. And that's often the first brick to be gone from the bridge of honor and integrity. One that you take out of it. One you hide and don't want the rest of the world to know. But to still come across that bridge. And if you can't be honorable and integritous to yourself, who can you be honorable and integritous to? So remember, JJ, honor and integrity begin and end with you. Thank you for helping me teach a lot of adults today. Good luck with your vegetables. And until next time, neighbors. Acha cha cha cha